Our topic today is transport. We will be looking at how transportation takes place within plants and later on within animals. Let's have a look at what happens when transportation takes place in plants. We will have a look at the xylem vessels. In order for an organism, be it a plant or an animal, to maintain its life, it requires food, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and water to survive. These are essential elements for growth and development. They have to be supplied within all the parts of the body, be it a plant or an animal, to the cells by vessels or tubes. This mode of carrying absorbed and digested food to all the parts of the organism's body is referred to as transportation. Transport in plants is less elaborate than in animals. As plants are less active, they do not move about. Their cells do not need to be supplied with materials quickly as they rely on oxygen for respiration to release energy and carbon dioxide for photosynthesis to manufacture their food, they get this from the air around them. Water and mineral salts are the main substances that a plant requires for growth. It cannot get these substances from the air and as a result relies on the transport system. Plants have two types of conducting tissues that are responsible for the transport of food from leaves and water and minerals from the soil. These two tissues are the xylem that transports water and mineral salts and phloem that transports food. Have a look at the diagram. Transport, how food, water and mineral salts are transported, the xylem vessel, what it transports and the phloem vessel what it also does. Let's have a look at the transport of water and mineral salts. We will be basically looking at the xylem vessels. We know, we know that plants require a lot of water and mineral salts for processes like photosynthesis. They absorb these elements from the soil. These are then transported by the xylem tissue which is made up of two vessels namely the xylem and the tracheids. The xylem vessels are long, non-living tubes that run like a drain pipe through the plant. They are made of hollow dead cells called vessel elements joined end to end and do not contain cytoplasm or nuclei. Their walls are made up of a substance called cellulose and lignin of which lignine is a hard substance. As a result, xylem cells are lignified and hard and keep the plant upright. Xylem vessels run from the roots to the stem to the leaves of a plant. They branch into every part of the plant. In flowering plants, either the xylem or the tracheid vessels transport water or both do it together. The tracheids are long, thin, spindle-shaped cells with pits in their thick cell walls. Water flows through these pits from one tracheid to another. They do not have open ends and do not form vessels. Tracheid are the only water-conducting tissues in non-flowering plants. The epidermis is the outermost layer of the root and is only one cell thick. The endodermis is the innermost layer of the root and in between these is the root cortex. The root hairs are composed of xylem vessels, hence called the root xylem, and responsible for carrying water from the root hairs to the parts of the plant. How does water and minerals get transported? The root hairs of the plant absorb the water and minerals from the soil by a process called diffusion. These elements then pass from cell to cell by a process called osmosis. They go from the epidermis to the root cortex to the endodermis and reach the root xylem. 
The xylem vessels of the root are connected to the xylem vessels of the stem. As a result, the water and mineral salts enter the stem and are carried by the branched xylem vessels and then distributed to the leaves and parts of the body of the plant. Only 1 to 2 percent of the water is used, of the water that's absorbed, is used in photosynthesis and other metabolic activities, whereas the rest of the water is lost as water vapor in the process of transpiration. I hope you've enjoyed the presentations. If you'd like to see more presentations, you can always visit us on our website at www.arrangeacademy.com. Furthermore, for our subscription, you could always check us out on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash arrangeacademy. You can subscribe to us also on our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash C slash Jane Academy. Thank you.